This is my childhood laptop, and it still turns on. So I made it game. So here is the laptop in question, and I'm gonna be honest, I thought I had an OS on it. So the second I got a hand of it, I just pulled out the power. <laughs> And then I decided to install Windows, which just went as average as you expected. I would show you, but then my camera decided to be all overexposed for some reason. Why does it think it's allowed to do that? I didn't tell it to do that. Um, I mean, it probably did. But we move on. So I finally get into Windows and then this happened. So thank you, Microsoft. But then, after a not so quick install, we have Windows. An Intel Celeron? Oh my god, Jesus. I didn't realise it was that bad. I knew the RAM would be bad, not two gigabytes. But now, with that beast of a gaming PC? An Intel Celeron? We finally had to install some Steam games. And now, with my very underexposed camera, I now download Steam. Which, as you can clearly see on the recording, went great. I then had to go back on the website because the app was just refusing to work. I'm thinking, am I putting too much effort into this? It's my first video after all. So that means you should subscribe. We're trying to hit three subscribers by the end of the year, so it's not going correct. And then, after a severe lighting change, I decided to install Hone. Hone is basically a free optimization tool for your PC. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just wanted to try something out. And then, after pressing a load of buttons that I wasn't qualified to use, we were optimized. I'm not even joking, it's been hours, but we have six games here in order from what I think will work to what I definitely think will give this thing a heart attack. So let, let's give Half-Life a go. Everything on this laptop has been so unbelievably slow and to be honest, I'm almost glad it's over. But I have more ideas for this thing, so make sure to subscribe. Why is this taking so long? I think the issue here is that I haven't given this thing its first boot yet. Surely we're almost there. Come on. Honestly, I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't get Half-Life to boot. But it was clearly my fault, and not the fault of this beast gaming computer. An Intel Celeron? So Half-Life just didn't work. So now we're gonna have to try Tomb Raider. I can't believe it's actually game running on this. Uh, <laughs> it's just gone black. Guess we'll try and launch it again then. The fact of how this computer can't even handle a game from 1996 doesn't make me angry. It, it just makes me disappointed. I can't believe I used to daily drive this thing. I heavily doubt that Counter-Strike 2 is going to launch, but, you know, we still have faith, shouldn't we? Oh, we're actually loading in. I'm actually shocked. Never mind. I'm in disbelief. Right, does this have controller support? Oh, it does. Right, let, let's just uh, turn down the resolution a little, shall we? Oh, what? <laughs> Why are the graphics on this so... This is all too nice for this laptop. How low can it go? Oh, that's it. Oh, there you go. Honestly, I can't believe it. Oh, this is really good. All right, I'm gonna look up. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, bu look down, look down at the floor, at the floor. Oh, the performance on this is incredible. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your predatory visory. If you distract staring at star tests, I have provided the required intellectual sustenance. Reflect, reflect, briefly on this on this classical music, music, music. Oh, this is incredible. Is it a good time to realise that my microphone wasn't set up? You know, first impressions aren't important anymore on YouTube. I'm honestly just really surprised that Half-Life didn't work. Tomb Raider, it just crashes straight away after the cutscene. I'm more surprised that Half-Life didn't work. Like, that's an old game, and I swear it works on almost everything. Also, if you know you're interested in watching people stare at a black screen for half an hour, I'm gonna be making another video similar to this. Uh, it'll be me putting SteamOS on this laptop. You know, a completely original idea, but I just really want to see how it goes.
that might have just been the slowest thing I've ever seen. Finally, this game is from 2011, I believe. So it's older than this laptop. I haven't even changed any settings on this either, and it's the best running game so far. If you just start staring at Sarah Pass, I provided the request. I can't even tell you how many hours it took to mainly install Counter Strike 2. I promise, by the way, with these videos, the quality will improve. I've got really sad news. Terraria just isn't booting. Continues loading for so long and never makes it past. <laughs> Uh, the laptop that I've got, it somehow goes for about 100 An Intel Celeron? Oh my god, Jesus. I didn't realise it was that bad. I knew the RAM would be bad, not 2 gigabytes. Oh, if we actually get in. I just need to, you know, turn on the controller. I waited so many hours for this to install. And now it's actually time to try and boot up GTA. Obviously, the enhanced version just is never going to work. Let's just try and boot into GTA 5 Legacy. I love how it's not even trying to boot up into full resolution. Oh, no way. Oh, we're actually in. This is sick. This. The fact of how this is loading up, it just gives me more hope for SteamOS to install on this thing. We're actually getting close. Come on. It can make it past this. Okay, that's fine. Maybe restart a bit. Yeah. Time for another 10 minutes of <laughs> booting up GTA. I'm sorry, but I've got a tragic truth. This laptop just didn't survive anything. When I tried to launch GTA on this, as you saw, I tried to switch it to DirectX 10, and <laughs> that has sort of bricked my install of GTA. If you made it this far through the video, thank you very much. It's my first video, so it would be appreciated if you could subscribe. And you know, maybe even leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see next. Anyway, thank you.